Good morrow, my lords and ladies. Tis Emma here, your bookish princess. And today we are going to experience the phenomena known as the Ren Fair for the very first time. I recently went to the Minnesota Renaissance Festival with my cousins Becky and Mary. Becky had been before, but it was the first time for Mary and I, and it was such a blast. Even though Becky told us exactly what to expect, it still kind of blew my mind, which is funny because I've been to Disney World a lot, and like I love Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party where people drive dress up but somehow this just felt like a brand new experience so much fun this renaissance festival has lots of permanent buildings and lovely landscaping so it really felt like you know you were entering medieval times i think the thing i was most unprepared for was how much stuff i would want to buy there were so many beautiful one-of-a-kind wares of course tons of stuff that you could buy and like wear right away at the ren fair i wish that i had worn a belt because it felt like there were so many cute little accessories that you could have bought um, to wear on a belt. So much of the merch was kind of pricey and the sort of thing that I personally like need time to think over and talk myself into, which was probably a good thing because I only ended up making one modest purchase. For any future Renaissance festivals that I attend, I will definitely be budgeting for a lady assassin coat or a book belt. I would also probably plan a more elaborate costume because seeing everybody's costumes was one of the most fun parts. The jousting was also a blast. We ate some delicious popovers. It was just such a fun day. Without further ado, let's head to the Ren Fair. Why are there friends? This is Emma here, the bookish elven princess. This is the debate we've just been having. We're going to the Ren Fair. Very excited. Look, it's my cousin Mary Lennox. Hello. <laughs> and Becky is here. Hello, I'm driving. I'm looking at the road. <laughs> Becky's like, I can't talk to the bookish kingdom right now because I'm driving. But yeah, so we've just been having this argument. I was saying my outfit is kind of like a bookish elven princess you aesthetic or elven elf bookish princess <laughs> i did i originally said elven bookish princess because i feel like i'm the bookish princess so like the the adjective bookish is more intrinsic so it should go first we were just saying that in adjectival order mm -hmm. that the more i think that the technical grammar rule is like the more intrinsic adjective goes closer. closer to the noun yeah but she thinks elven is more intrinsic. because if you're an elven princess <laughs> first and then a bookish is just like your interest like bookish princess isn't like your ethnicity well, okay you, you're talking though i've been for the last 10 years well yeah i've been known as bookish princess because that's up, only the people one people come up to me and address me as bookish princess but if today you're an elven princess you've become elven for the day <laughs> Then you should and be elven is now elven more yeah. intrinsic to my nature than bookish yeah if you're gonna be elven then yeah <laughs> Commit say. or get out. No halfway <laughs> Elven princesses. There's no halfway with the Ren Fair. Now you all know who Mary Lennox is because um, we just filmed uh, Becky's bookshelf tour and, mm -hmm. and we're mentioning oh, yes. the Mary LT, Lennox. the uh, yes, little tyrant. <laughs> and Mary also has made an appearance in the Book of Cymbeline, the first yeah. book of Cymbeline. She is the owner yes. of Echo, yes. the amazing Echo the cat, which Echo is going to be making more appearances in the third book of Cymbeline. Little, um, little spoiler for you guys. So, yes, we're on the way to the Ren Fair. Do you guys have anything you're like, what's your... So, Becky's been before. I have. I've been a few times. I always like looking at the pottery, like the different vendors that sell pottery. And there's one vendor that does pewter castings, yeah. where I got my little castle thimble. And last year, they had a little family of ducks yeah. that, like... I was sort of visiting with the lady at the counter and she like lined them all up and I was like, oh, like your ducks in a row. And she like laughed so hard. She was like, I never thought of that. And I have regretted that I didn't buy those little ducks to have all my ducks in a row. <laughs> well, well, we'll have to see if they're there. And also I don't remember how much they were. If they were like $35 per tiny little duck, Oof. then I probably That would won. be pretty bad. But we'll see. But I'm excited to see them. I'm it's excited. always fun to see what people I'm excited make. for the Lord of the Rings aesthetic. Yes. That was. We can That's go and a, see. There a is a hobbit hole that, that you can go. There is. There is. Yeah, because it's kind of to scale, so it's very small. And usually they have a little kid inside the rooms, like pretending to be a hobbit or a fairy <laughs> or something. That's right. It's the fairy house week, right? So yes. we will yeah. see people's fairy houses. Everything. Yeah, there's a fairy house competition, so people make them and submit them. Yeah, so that's always fun. Very excited. I'm most excited about the horses. Oh, are there going to be a lot of horses? <laughs> well, there's, is there jousting? They, well, there are there's horses jousting. for the jousting. Okay. Usually they have the knights, the, horses. the knights in armor that joust, and then usually they get off the horse, and then they fight with their swords for a little bit. 
um, but they don't actually try and unhorse each other. I don't remember how they do the They don't try hard enough. Really. <laughs> but, well, they try not to get hurt. They're not committed. Primarily. They try not to get hurt. Yes. To end this Renaissance Day, we should watch The Night's Tale. A Night's Tale. <laughs> we should. That would be really yeah. I haven't seen that in a long time. I love that man. That's, like, that's so a very, cute. very good run fest vibe. Yes, I'm very excited. This should be really fun. First ever run. Yeah. It's exciting. Oh, look, there is a little bit of a line. We didn't get here quite early enough to be crowds. Well, we did not make it for rope drop. Uh, <laughs> there's something between County Fair and Disney World, then that's where the rent that's the space the Ren Fair occupies. The Ren Fair and the Minnesota State Fair. That's okay. where they sit. They're so this totally feels like Mickey's not so scary Halloween party because so many people are dressed up. I and told I, you people I, would be dressed up. I know you told me you people. didn't believe me. I did believe you. I just, she was like, I Becky doesn't here. even know. Oh, you should have seen the fairy wings these one people had. They were like as big, as tall as them. They were like five foot oh, yes. tall, ten well, foot wide. I'm like, so jealous. I didn't like. The I feel theme this weekend is Once Upon a Time, and we can go to Fairy Wing Forest and see the fairies. There are also mermaids you can go visit that okay. I've never actually I just, made it to. So you know the level of preparation that I do for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Yeah. So I just feel unprepared because we decided to come at the last minute. And like this dress is cute and my crown is cute. But like I didn't I didn't commit to the costume the way no. I would commit to a Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party costume. So I just feel unprepared. Well, now you'll be prepared. Did you just think of it as research? Yeah, I could I could go to a future yeah. one. And this is just the reconnaissance one. Yeah. So I plan my... Like, is this going for pirates? Yeah. Pirates? Becky says that they have a weekend when people come in Star Trek well, uniforms. It's, it's time time travel. Time travel. There's like a one specific time. I don't remember which day. So this is like any so fandom that you like. Really. Star Trek. <laughs> it could be other. As long as it's a fandom where people... Co oh, because I think there were some people dressed as Doctor Who. That oh, also wear there. This like, wear any costume. As long as you time travel. See, my skirt does not touch the ground, therefore I am underdressed. I thought we were at Kingsgate. Oh, here it is, yeah, yeah. so right we here. Entered here. Oh, there's a pirate, wow, this is like mm -hmm. a whole little mini theme park. So, I don't know so how many acres it is. Look at, there's a pirate on, a pirate on that guy's shoulder. Yeah, see, so you can't tell who's like, um, <laughs> you can't tell who is like a employee. In it. I think this is the royal court. Yeah. That's the king and queen. Yeah. See, I don't have a hoop skirt. What am I even doing here? Just a different period. Well, what we discovered is that the things wrong. They have tridents. Oh my gosh, this is just hilarious. First, we pass a guy wearing chain mail, and then we pass people with tridents. Like, what is this place? <laughs> I feel like I tried to explain this, and you, you did believe zero of my words. It's just different. It hits differently being here in person. Beer, a castle that sells beer. The King's Dungeon. Bow blast. Okay, so at least we were somewhat prepared because we have the hair braiding down and we also passed a crown seller which had a crown like my crown. So I'm not I'm not totally unprepared. The Lord, they're everyone is like the Lord, the lady. I just I can't get over it. I'm just I'm just like what? Me? What? Me? Stop. <laughs> I'm blushing. Please go on. These two are a couple of you. Oh my gosh! You can feed them. For, you, we could probably ride them. I, Mary Lennox, should we ride an elephant today? <laughs> Is that even medieval? Is our ele were there elephants well, in there like were medieval ele Europe? Elephants in Rome. Well, like Hannibal rode elephants. That, but that's through. not. Is that medieval? Is that I don't know. <laughs> it's a, I told you, it's a very loose step. And some of those Star Trek people. I was excited for the horses, elephants. but now there's <laughs> elephants. Like no, no, no. Star Trek people accidentally bring whales, not elephants. Well, this was they didn't make this movie. <laughs> they didn't make this movie. I want to look at what is Dragon Bubble Lemonade. Here's um, Becky's authentic Mountain Dew. <laughs> as everyone knows, Mountain Dew was invented well, in 1338. Authentic as my costume. <laughs> Just like I, 
it's like it's like Disney World, but everything's uncontrolled, and you can't tell who the cast members are. It's crazy. That is crazy. I don't know if you can even tell the scale of that. <laughs> it's like a Trojan. You're right. It's like a Trojan horse. <laughs> Oh my gosh, these are so beautiful. I have no idea what my size is. Oh, they're really expensive. I really love this one, but I feel like it would be madness to buy it. <laughs> no, no, they're so pretty. I want one. I want one. They talked me out of the bodice. The $175. I said take a picture. If you keep, if you can't, don't forget about it, then we'll come back. I know I shouldn't buy it. I could buy this dress over again. There are too many, <laughs> there are too many other things that I would wear more regularly. Okay, well now we're going to look so at pretty. jewelry, which will be one. smaller. Smaller for I'm so predictable that Becky knew I was gonna wanna pop over later. It's like a savory sweet sprinkle, watch out. Please. Cheese curds, Sir Glastonbury's like cheese curds. This one it goes with the Elven Princess aesthetic. Wow, they are pretty. Oh my gosh, this has a dragon on it. Mm -hmm. Or you can just get these ones that go on the outside and have roses. Oh my goodness. This, this Whoa, look at those crown. dragons. Spiders. You're right. Oh, butterflies. Good, good. good. thank you. So, I need a hair clip all so that you can pin this, oops, sorry. <gasps> Pin this back a little bit. I mean, you could adjust your head. Right See, we're, we are accoutring ourselves. I've got the ear cuff. Becky's got the sword. Yeah. Oh, and you can put it in right now. Oh, You're right. Turn around so that I can get the sun on it. Oh my gosh, it looks so so good. That's awesome. I love that. Well, let's go. You look fabulous. No, I think oh my gosh. This, this bun should have been right on top of your head, and then that one. Here's my new, um... Down the sides. It's kind of weird. Your piece. It looks so cute with your hair, too. <laughs> you look so regal. You do have ladies to, like, right here. Whatever. I already have my elven crown, so I don't really need a size. This <laughs> is like, how many crowns do you, can you wear? Ready? Ready? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, we're taking Bookish Princess to a new, um... New <laughs> literal <laughs> level. Yeah. <laughs> Look at those hats. They look awesome. You know, it is such a good um, thing that Porthos is not here because I feel like Porthos would totally buy one of these. The three of us get to. Oh my gosh! Actually, I should buy hats for all for my my brothers. <laughs> they totally need three musketeers hats. That is so pretty with the tree. Oh, Becky loves these pots. She's gotten them before. I have a little tiny cups that I'm never going to use for anything. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> is this like one of the ones you bought? You, you bought this is the star one. Nice. Oh wow, look at these that are just like total goblets. Isn't that awesome? That is very awesome. How beautiful is that little dress? Oh my gosh. Here, I get, oh my gosh, I'm here are these. That's adorable. Well, see, I already kind of have my um thing, but these are pretty cute too. Oh, look, they have journals here. Oh my gosh. Where's Becky? I feel like she's gonna love these. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, I don't have a belt. Oh, I'm like regretting my life choices. I should have had a belt so I could wear a book on the belt. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. Wow. Oh, there's some as purses on my seat. If I had a belt, I just can't see like the Mm hmm But if you have a belt at home. But I need the belt now. <laughs> but now but you could hook it on your purse. Oh, I see. Well, but I mean, I'm sorry. No, it when you're it, going to the park to write poetry or something. I'm going to the park to write poetry. As you do. <laughs> I do look, although I could get a purse. Look at that. Oh. Take a moment to appreciate. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. 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 Oh, my gosh
Did you unlock both buckles? I did. This is where um, Frodo Baggins. Yes. The, the, the Red Book no. of Westmarch. <laughs> Not the Hobbit. The <laughs> Lord of Fellowship. The Lord of the Rings. The Journey of the Fellowship. So deciding if I seventy dollars want a book. <laughs> How badly do you want but it? But handmade, not made. One hundred percent cotton paper. Supporting local rent. <laughs> local. Becky has never before seen the mermaids, so we're gonna do mermaid code for the first time. Is it ten? Are we in? Yeah, we are. Yeah, it's it's yeah ten o'clock mermaid sighting. <laughs> oh my goodness. I couldn't even film that. It was too awkward. <laughs> Mermaids don't speak English. They only speak laughing awkwardly. That's I feel like they speak fish. So they just squeak. <laughs> they squeak. Apparently. Oh my gosh. Now I can see why they got rid of the mermaids at Disney World. They briefly oh, they? had mermaids out in the lagoon at Disneyland. Those are the biggest wind chimes I've ever seen. The chain mail. Chain mail? Yeah, over here. You can buy it? Yeah. I mean, Where? Mostly, right here. It's mostly like the key. Oh, I was going to say, that doesn't look like chain mail. That looks like belly dancer <laughs> Whoa, look at the knights. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Harry Wing Forest. Oh, so oh, it's so small. Oh my gosh, this is the perfect size for American Girl dolls. Oh, oh, yeah. oh man. American Girl Doll Hobbit, Hobbit Hole. I love it so much. Like the, the mini hike within the Ren Fair. Look at how um, pretty those purple flowers are. You know what? You totally feel like you could see fairies flying around up there. Oh, look at this. What's the meaning of the fairy mirror? I feel like if you look in, in a fairy mirror, in a fairy wood, something oh, must happen no, to you. You'll go to another, it's like a change. You could go into another dimension, maybe? And a fairy changes places. Oh, you're right. You're right. <gasps> What if a fairy, what if I'm actually a fairy that changed place with my real and self? She, and she's just, you're just trying to throw us off by being like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Look at that cute little house way up in the tree. Oh, that is awesome. That's a large fairy. That's a large fairy. Oh, look at that. That fairy lives in a jug. <laughs> jug. Jug lying by the side of a tree. Oh, a fairy lives there. Should eat it, right? Yeah. I'm Snow White. I should bite. It's a golden apple. That must be something else. Like, I'm thinking of Yates. Golden apples of the sun, silver apples of the moon. Are you enjoying your fair? Yeah. That's mm -hmm. very much. Good. I love that. <laughs> oh my goodness. I could see someone in a Sasquatch costume here for no good reason. Oh, that's cute. I kind of want that. Alright, where's the, um, lead us to the I, uh, metal smith. Well, I just think it's over here because I was on my it's called Fellowship Forge or something or something. Yeah, really? yeah, Hawkins Dragon. I just always like checking out. Oh, yes, that is so pretty. Okay, this is Dragon. These cute little shields. We went to Medieval Times one time and my brothers all got shields. Oh, yeah. That's cute. Oh, my gosh, those tails that everyone's been wearing. Oh, yes. There are too many accessories. My brain can't take them all in. But I think the popovers. I think we've finally gotten back towards the popovers. Mini pancakes. I need to see someone with mini pancakes to convince me to get some. Otherwise, I'm going to go for the, the puffins. Poppins? Poppins. Oh. Popovers. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. These look really pretty, but they don't look at all like Ren Fairy. That's the kind of dress I wish I'd worn. I know I would have been hot in it. I never mind being hot. Or a beautiful <laughs> for a beautiful dress. The so, lanes look the same and you're like, oh, we were just here. I know. Look but at that cute little thing. It's like 
These houses are really cute, aren't they? All the, the little architecture is adorable. See, this is my, the dress we're sticking with, but still we're being tempted. Oh my gosh. Wow, these are like, you put it on over your dress. Oh. Lady Assassin? Oh man, I want a Lady Assassin. I want a Lady Assassin outfit. Look off. Like yeah, so it can be fitted. Cause you don't want your your What's sleeves you flying that? around. I feel like you're supposed to wear tight pants underneath though. Oh, I see, and not a dress. So you can right. kick somebody in the face. Oh my god! So it's like, I'm a lady assassin. Yeah. I have to be able to kick somebody in the face. <laughs> like it's more difficult to kick somebody in the face than a dress. I mean, I guess you could. Oh my gosh, the back though is the most stunning part. Is that mm -hmm. you see the back? Like, Cream puff. See, do we want to? I know. I think the popover. The popover spoke to me. We're back around to the popovers. It's time for popovers, guys. dancers in this direction and then down here is some other kind of uh, yeah. flailing what oh that's really cool there's a wedding oh my gosh I think you can be like married by the king of the Renaissance for her. so this is the fairy house competition okay. wow okay I'll help you Ooh, I like this one Oh, that is pretty. This was I should take some pictures for speedy. Wow, look at the dragon. That's awesome. Oh, this one's gonna win. Just the dragon. How could how could it not? Oh my gosh, there are people in there. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a pumpkin patch. That is so cute. Oh, I like this one a lot too. And look at the little Oh, and this is clever. A giant acorn. This is very impressive looking. I like all these little. That's really pretty. Oh, that's fun. The shoe. I love this. Yeah, this is wow. With the like big staircase. Oh, look at the little fairy. That's adorable. <laughs> look, this is like a Jane Austen <laughs> fairy house. Oh, lift the roof and peek. Oh, look at that. Oh, the little. Oh, that is really cute. They did a great job. She even and has I didn't a even notice light on top. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. That is so beautiful. Wow. Okay, that's really impressive. I feel like this one as a whole, aesthetically, it's got many, many elements. And the, the um, nest is very original. I don't think there is another high nest like this. Yep, in my book. Two levels. Jamie. Yeah. Look, they're putting out the lances. We can stop right after we The Black Stag of York, Sir Oh, 
to meet in the middle and congratulate each other on a South Wales <laughs> Show them chivalrous behavior and what it means to truly after the jousts, we headed out. It was such a fun Renaissance festival, but kind of exhausting, very hot. Becky is such a pro though. She had brought um, cool water in the car and some snacks. So that was really great to refuel a little bit on the drive home. Have you guys ever been to the Renaissance festival? Let me know down in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed for more videos with Becky. We filmed a full tour of her gorgeous bookshelf. I'm hoping to get that up next week. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a magical and a bookish and a medieval day. Bye.